Retrospect offers multiple ways to recover individual files and folders from a backup. The easiest way, and one of the most common ways, is to click on the Restore button at the top of the screen, and then select the option that says Restore Selected Files and Folders, and then click on Continue. You will then be given a list of all your previous backups. To recover data from a specific backup, you can select the specific date and time that the backup took place. You'll also see the name of the computer the files came from, and you'll also see the name of the folder or the disk that the files came from. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Browse button, and under the Browse button, it'll show me the list of the actual files that were backed up. I can then go into that list and locate a specific file I'd like to recover. Now I can go ahead and select those items and then click on Continue. And then I need to select where I'd like to put the files. In this case, I'm going to put the files on the internal hard drive of my computer, but I don't want any files to be overwritten during the restore. So I'm going to click on the button that says Restore to a new folder. This will create a new folder on the destination disk with the same name as my media set. And inside that folder will be the actual items I've told the software to recover. And I click on continue. And then I click on start now. Retrospect will then begin the restore process.